Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to do a video that I've probably been wanting to do since the beginning of starting this channel. All right, so as a hairdresser, I do have to start off by saying and explaining basically the difference between salon quality color and boxed color. So one of the reasons that boxed color gets such a bad rap is A, because it's not customizable. Meaning at a salon, you have your tubes of color and your developer and you mix accordingly to the hair and the result you're trying to achieve. When you buy boxed color, everything's already in the box. So what that means is they're already making an assumption of what you're starting off with. And basically the picture in the front is only kind of just a guide. It does not mean that this is the color that you get. I think for most, if you're not a hairdresser, you assume that the color in the box is the color that it's going to make your hair. And that is not the case because hair is a little more complicated than that. And the reason for that is our hair is not a white sheet of paper, a blank canvas with whatever you put on it is what's gonna show. It all depends on what you already have going on in order to show that result. So meaning if I have a platinum blonde starting or a brunette with caramel highlights, if I put on the exact same thing on those two heads of hair, we're obviously going to get different results. And that's what these boxes don't know. They don't know what you're starting off with. And so the reason why box color almost always has these like almost always has this index or this guide is to show if you have this, this is what you get. And so basically if your hair is not on the starting point, basically the box is not going to work for you. As you guys know me, I'm all about DIY hair and my philosophy is always, I want you to have beautiful hair. I don't really care how you get there, whether it's while sitting in my chair, whether it's sitting in another hairdresser's chair or whether you can't afford to do that and you need to do it at home. So my job here on YouTube has always been that if you're not gonna be going to a salon, at least I want you to be a little more informed so that you can make the best decisions on getting your goal hair. So that needs to be very clear and I feel like nine years into being on YouTube, I shouldn't have to say that anymore, but you never know if this is your first video that you're watching of mine. And I understand that a lot of hairdressers don't understand why I do what I do and why I would be promoting or suggesting box color. And so basically, if you have to use box color, I'm gonna go through and explain what is better for what and kind of like what brands to go for and what to stay away from. And we are gonna cover the three main pillars of hair color, which is gray coverage and color in general, lighteners, which lift and bleach out the hair, and then of course, toners. All right, starting with permanent color. This is for if you are covering gray, if you want a little bit of lift at your root, we've got your permanent colors. And now I got this box because I think this is one of the most hydrating boxed color out there. The Garnier Olea is great. Now if we do want to go a step further into something that is going to be good for the hair, we also have this brand Naturally Bright and it's hair color made from plants. Now typically colors that are much more natural have a tendency to be much more warm toned. So if you are looking for that warm rich color, this will be a great alternative for you. And also this is a henna based dye, um, which means there's no mixing. You just apply this on the hair and you get bright, rich, vibrant tones. All right, now moving into the part where I feel a lot of people kind of struggle with and where things can get a little more complicated. And that is when you wanna go blonde and you buy a boxed blonde and you end up with tragedies like this. And if we turn the box around the index, as you can see, this is for blondes only. Even the darkest color here is still like a level eight. A level eight is a blonde. So if you have any brown in your hair, this box is not going to work for you. The amount of times where I've gotten a virtual consult where 
you know, they were like, I was trying to go light and I used this box color and why did I end up with spots of orange? The reason for that is that this is color. This has very little lift and what you need in order to get high levels of lift is lightener. What you need is this. Before I was licensed, I probably have tried out almost every single bleach kit that drugstores offer and I feel like this one was probably the one that I got the most lift with. I can say that with the quality of this one, I have used lighteners that are quote unquote professional that are more drying on the hair than this one is. So I do feel this one is decent quality. Now again, what you need to know is the levels of lift. And again, so here in the index, it does show brunette. It's not black, but it is a medium brown. So if you have hair that's darker than this, you're probably going to end up with orange also. But if you're anywhere in a medium kind of brown, you are going to get these kind of more golden, maybe like a level nine result. And that's pretty good for a boxed color because again, if they were to sell something that was strong enough to get you from like a super dark, you know, brown to blonde, that would be so strong that if this got in the hands of the wrong person or someone that has previously lightened hair, it could severely dry and damage that person's hair. Given the, you know, levels of lift that it's you know, promising. I'm assuming that it's about a 30 volume developer. All right, so that's it for lifting and the blonde section. Now we're moving on into toners and at home glosses. So basically the word toner isn't a product. A toner is the action. It's toning the hair. Basically you can have products that are deposit only, which is what you can also call a gloss. And then there are colors which can be in shades of toners, which is like the violets, the golds, um, neutral shades. But if they contain lift, then essentially they're no different than a color, except that instead of coloring your hair brown, they're only depositing, you know, tones. To me, a true toner is a gloss, something that is only staining the hair, there is zero lift. And now we have that available to the public. Now Kristen S is, as you can tell by the box alone, it's a pretty elevated at home color. A gloss or a toner is necessary pretty often in order to keep the hair looking fresh. So I got like the most extreme opposites. I got the brass neutralizing like for brunettes. So this is, you know, you've, whether you've lightened your hair at home or at the salon, your hair is getting pretty brassy, but you still have some you know, brunette base, and you're looking to just kind of neutralize that. You still want to keep the dimension. You don't want to just throw a brown all over. You want to keep the dimension, but you just want to bring down those orangey kind of areas. This is perfect for that. I love that it's an in shower toning gloss. What that means is that you apply this on wet hair, which I think is one of the easiest ways to apply something to the hair quickly. When you're applying toner to dry hair, if you're not quick enough, you can easily have one side of the head that has toned quicker and that ends up being darker or ashier than the other side. So being able to apply a formula over wet hair is just so much more easy to distribute the product throughout the hair. And then of course, the platinum toner. In our industry is probably the most misused word. It's both overused and misused. <laughs> I think now platinum is kind of used to describe level whereas platinum is kind of more of a reference to tone. And I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but the before and after is not very different. And I'm glad that they did that because in order to get that shade, that isn't, you're not going to get lift from a toner. So you better be pretty darn close and really, really bright already to begin with in order to finish off with that result. And oftentimes I will get, you know, photos from clients with, you know, a very yellow base color to begin with. And they're like, what toner can I get to get this platinum result? And the answer is no toner is going to get you there because your hair needs to be lifted to the appropriate level, which is really bright. It means that your hair already needs to be at a level 10 in order to reach 
a platinum tone. What that means is in order to get this result, even with this toner, your hair needs to be lifted to that level first. So that concludes the boxed color portion. As we all know, there are services that deliver color at home. As you guys know, I've been working with Isalon for I wanna say almost six years now. And it's still one of the companies that I work with that I'm just so in awe of the product because it is salon quality color. And with my discount that I've had for, like I said, six years now, you guys are able to try it out for 50% off and free shipping. So what that means is you get salon quality products at basically a cheaper price than what box color would cost you. So if you have tried out box color before and you're looking for something a little bit more elevated but still at an incredible, incredible price point, I suggest you try Isalon. And the amazing thing about it too is I have dealt with clients that do do their, you know, great touch-up at home with Isalon. And I've seen what Isalon color looks like on the hair for months upon months of application, meaning not just a one-time deal. And the hair looks and feels incredible. So yeah, the proof is definitely in the pudding <laughs> in the color formulation and Isalon is incredible. They really do make their color from scratch. So they're not just like, oh, this person needs a 5N and they pull out a color from the shelf. They actually personalize and mix a color for you depending on your quiz results. There's no way I could talk about box color without talking about an incredible salon quality alternative at basically a better price. Thank you for coming to my box color TED talk. Also, I promised you guys I was going to bring you my hair transformation video. So that will be coming next week. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. And yeah, love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.